Growing up, we had horses that my dad used in place of a tractor to log the land. He was a, a post and beam house builder. He cared for all the horses himself with, with these horseshoe rasps. And we had buckets of rusty horseshoe rasps lying around. They have these fine teeth on one side and they're made of a high carbon steel. He said that I could use any of those. I quickly ran out of our supply because I was so drawn to them. I love collecting actual rasps from actual farriers who work in the trade. I love when I collect them and they still have bits of hay and sawdust and horse hair in them. It's just an amazing smell that really carries me right back to my childhood. A lot of knife makers actually use this same material, but as far as I know, I'm the only person that has left some of the material intact. The file, which was originally used to file the horse's hoof, I leave that intact on one side of the blade to be used as a zester or a grater, because I really wanted to keep some aspect of the original tool in the new product that I'm making. My name is Chelsea Miller, and I'm a knife maker. I grew up in rural Vermont with my two siblings, and I was homeschooled by my parents. My father was really a jack of all trades. Once he had built everyone in town a house, he then got into cabinet making and built everyone cabinets, and then gate making and taught himself blacksmithing. I really grew up in his shop and in our garden and with our animals. My father became quite ill. It was a good opportunity for me just to go home for a while and spend time with him. As he was improving somewhat, I was there to help rehabilitate him. It was a great time for me to be there with him and try and figure out what it is that I wanted to say for myself. I just started playing in, in his workshop and experimenting with my hands, making things and just letting one thing lead to another. It was really just a time for me to connect with myself and separate the rest of the world and allow myself to feel creative. I gave the first knives I made away to friends and their response was so overwhelmingly positive. On the weekends I would go down to Brooklyn and have my little table set up and people would walk by and just ask me, wow, what the heck are these? These are so strange looking. What do you do with this? Where are you from? What are these? Why, 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 why you buy this thing? And my answer was always, why not? Knife making in general has been such a powerful tool in helping me develop as a person. The way that I came to it really had so much to do with processing the illness of my dad and the eventuality of his death and processing that and bringing his spirit into mine. Knife making has been this incredible place where I really feel safe and don't need to show up for anyone else but myself. It's really helped me develop as a person and understand my needs and my wants and how to care for myself and other people. I'm really letting it lead me, letting it guide me. All of that is reflected in the work, you know, all of it comes out in just the amount of time it takes to make a knife from start to finish. You really have to be in love with the process. The knife should just be the cherry on top. It's really about your journey and why metal for you. It's your story instead of a product. It's really your story that is presented through a knife.